for my love on our wedding day. Dear Megan, as we are only hours away from saying I do, I just wanted to first say I love you. I can't wait to see our future grow. I can't wait to see our family grow. And I certainly can't wait to see our love grow. I want to be your leader, your best friend, your love, and last but not least, your husband. Aww. You got lipstick on you. It's okay. Who cares? I love you to the moon and back. Future Mrs. Megan Little Hedegar. <laughs> There's not many people that can say they met their best friend in second grade. I'm truly lucky. I am so happy that you found Renato, also known as the chef, the Swiss, and Nato. I remember him telling me very early on in your relationship, Allie, I'm going to marry your best friend. When Megan first met Renato, I remember Megan sharing the details of their first date and how much thought Renato had put into planning the restaurant they went to and the adventures of her first speakeasy. Renato, you have already been a part of our family for a while, but I'm happy it's official now. I knew you were going to be great for Megan by not only the way you treated her, but the way you treated Mabry and Liam. Thank you for the many ways you love Megan and for all the ways you love our family too. Megan, my dearest Cheeky. So I've had the pleasure of witnessing your nurturing spirit in every aspect of what you do. With admiration of being your little sister, I sometimes would wonder why such a catch like you hadn't gotten married. I know now God was having you wait because you hadn't met Renato. And what a kind soul you are, Renato. Your endearment is captivating. I've considered you a part of our family as Uncle Nato for some time, but I'm proud to officially be your sister. You are both remarkable individuals, and together you make one heck of a team. Renata, no words can describe the confidence and peace in knowing that our marriage was a part of his perfect plan. God of creation, there at the start before the beginning of time. I can't wait to be your wife. I love you with all my heart, Megan. With no point of reference, you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Fabio. I'm Renato's little brother. You were always somebody in my life who I looked up to as a role model and compared myself with. I've always been so impressed with how you remember so many names. It's like you've got a Rolodex of contacts in your brain. It, it didn't take till I sat down to write this that I realized what was truly impressive was that everybody knew who you were. I think that has a lot to say about who you are as a person, the energy you carry. There's nobody like you, you truly are special. There's not a doubt in my mind that you're gonna be an amazing husband and one day even an amazing father. Gracious God, we take just a moment now and we thank you so much that the weather has cleared and we have been gifted this incredible evening in which we are going to celebrate the joining together of Renato and Megan. Megan is such a special person that truly blesses everyone that she meets. She is one of the most genuine, caring, and thoughtful people I've ever met. Megan, you're perfect in every way. I know you're going to be amazing for, for my brother. 
And to say you came from a great family would be an understatement. You guys are absolutely awesome. We're just as excited to have you guys being part of our family. I, Renato, take you, Megan, to be my wife. And I promise for God and these witnesses to be your loving, faithful husband. I, Megan, take you, Renato, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness, in sickness and, in and in health. As, as long as we both shall live. It is my pleasure to introduce to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Renato Alexander Edison. You're the 